Hey, good morning, guys. This is Hank. It is March 30th, 0003. And um, I woke up with this inspiration to, as soon as I wake up, I'm going to give you, tell you my dreams or the dream that I just had before I woke up. Uh, this is Teddy, or actually it's, her name is Gund, or his name is Gund. He's been with me for ooh, over 20 years now. So he's going to be my co-host on this particular playlist or program. Okay, so here's a dream that I had last night. Or just now, before I woke up, I was, um, there was a, a lottery, like a, a, a lottery for people, I guess, who was going to live and who was going to die. And so apparently I didn't make the lottery or I didn't win or whatever, so they had rounded up all of these people into these buildings and these facilities and they were all locked in and and then everyone who was outside in these particular areas they like flew planes over and like did this whole chemtrail or gas they gassed the whole area and um i guess it would just only kill humans but i mean everyone who wasn't locked inside those facilities were killed except those who were smart or uh, had the ingenuity to save themselves. Well, what I did was right outside one of these facilities, I dug a hole into the concrete. I mean, I don't remember how much time I had to do this or whatever, but I literally, it had been raining, so the ground was really wet and saturated. So I guess I must be here in Texas because when it rains, it's been like this time of year, it rains a lot, a lot. Hurricane season or the end of hurricane season. So anyway, I dug and enough to get my body down inside of it. And there was this part of the concrete that I just took and I slid back over the top of the hole where I was in and packed the mud. And I was just under there. I don't really know how long I was under there, but it was really, really wild about it. All of a sudden, and I mean, I was under there for a while, and then um, the whole slab that I was under was like lifted up by some type of crane. And it was really weird. You ever pull up a, a rock or something that's been somewhere in your yard for a while, and then you see all the little worm holes and the worms and, 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 um, Oh, different types of things, the centerpiece or whatever up under the rock. But there was several of us that had must have thought the same thing and were all under this rock. But it was really interesting was they were rounding up all the people who had survived. And I remember us all being on this bus. And just as we were getting off the bus, they were they used this little device and they like either like took a blood sample of of all of us or whatever do you know what i'm saying and then let us go but what i did realize uh after it was over normal society was still going on now of course i knew it was a dream that i was having so i remember when i got off that bus the first thing I always do is fly because I figured they were going to either kill us again or something. And uh, I flew up in the air and uh, there I was by these um, either apartment complexes or and there you could see not, not really a I don't know if it was a hotel or a resort. You know how dreams are. They're always so weird. And I can see people going about their daily lives and like on the top floor there was this a party going on indoor outside party or whatever and I remember flying up there and uh, then I was awakened that was a really wild dream I'm not sure exactly what it meant or what have you uh, I haven't gotten out of bed yet and gone and write, written it down because actually I have like 20 20 no 12 13 years of dreams written down and uh, I can tell you one thing about a dream here on this very first video here is that when you keep your dreams for a really long time, you'll notice that you're going in and out of all these different scenarios. And if when you read them back, you're like, hey, in this dream, I was I was Jewish in this dream. I, I used to have this whole series of dreams where I was Jewish and they were chasing me trying, you know, I guess 
I, I either have some type of resistance or I was doing things or whatever. They finally caught me on the boat and they, I ended up in Auschwitz. Now that's not this dream that I had last night, but you know, that's why I always think that I was Jewish in my last life. And, and as opposed to getting that information from a quantum healing hypnosis session or whatever. But, um, anyway, here's my new series. And, uh, all right, guys, thank you very much for listening. I do appreciate it, and uh, I can't wait to see what kind of... I mean, I have crazy dreams, so I'm just going to be... I'm going to wake up like I am right now, and uh, like I said, a gun here has been with me for a lot of years. Maybe one day I'll let him tell the dream, and uh, I'll just keep sleeping. All right, love and light. Namaste.